work out a way that she can go. So there we go. Look at her walking much better. Now, I know she's limping, but it really is a million times better. Although that Impala is going to spot her. But look, she's at least walking. There's the Impala shouting at her. So you can see her tail will just lift up slightly. But definitely walking a million times better than what she was a few weeks ago. I mean, it's not even comparable anymore. She was carrying her foot and now look almost back to normal. I mean, even better than the, the two weeks ago that we saw her, she's looking a lot better. Look at that. I'm very impressed with her. Well done, girl. You're coming right slowly and with that gait right there, I mean, there's nothing to worry about now. She's getting muscular movement. She's putting weight on it. So she's going to be okay. Proud cat mama, you're wondering how successful she'll be when it comes to hunting. Well, evidently she seems to be very successful recently. I mean, she's had a good spate, good run of things. She was seen in the space of a week. She was seen with three different Impala kills and a Diker. She, we know that she had an Impala yesterday from what was evidence that the hyenas stole from her. So she's seemingly hunting just fine. Um, you know, it's a good time of year for her. She's got nice dry grass to camouflage very well. It's also animals are driven towards water holes and therefore it means that they are actually going to be easier to hunt and so it's actually not a bad time for her to have gotten this injury in a way she's able to basically be able to utilize the animal's weaknesses to advantage but you can see the male impala is actually following her shouting at her as she walks so he's there alert look and he might give a nasal snort again shortly but you see look he's following so the reason why he's following is because he doesn't want to lose visual of this leopard and then think oh well, mate maybe this leopard is going to come hunt me so there's that nasal snort that you hear there and that's what we will use to try and find her when there we go amazing sound isn't it and you can see it differs it differs from the rut sound which is followed by that gargling this is just the nasal snort and that's how we can tell the difference between the two now she's drifting so I'm gonna try and keep up with her now she's spotting those warthogs she's going much more alert at the warthogs the warthogs are going to be on serious alert now with this impala shouting like that so her hunt is going to be a lot more difficult than what it was earlier but she's still going to try by the looks of things she's still kind of moving slowly in that direction she's still trying to kind of work out a way to find these warthogs and she sees she stopped there what she got she just pounced on something she missed it the warthogs went into the mound you see that? Look at the dust. So she tried to pounce and she missed it. The warthogs were just on the edge there, right on the edge of the hole. And she came from the back and obviously saw them and pounced but missed. So the warthogs went down. There was a big puff of dust as she tried to jump onto them. I think it was a warthog at least. I'm not 100% sure what it was. Maybe a dwarf mongoose. It could have been one of them too. But something definitely went down into that mound. There was dust that sprayed everywhere. And this is where the warthogs were a little bit ago this is where they were kind of watching from so I'm pretty sure that's what she went after maybe the face of a warthog was sticking out look she's looking down the hole and I'm gonna go forward because she's climbing in a little bit let's see what have you got in here are you gonna start excavating shadow yes yeah, she's gone in look she's going right in and look at the dust so let's see she might pull something out here this is gonna be really interesting look her tails in there there you see look she's struggling what is in there? Careful girl, you don't want to get hurt if you go inside there because you can get a face full of tusk if you're not careful. But she's definitely going deep inside the hole. She's climbing in there trying to get down towards those warthogs. It must be a piglet that she's going after because I don't think she would try this with a fully grown adult. But she's definitely trying. Oh, lots of dust in the face. Very dusty in a hole like that. What are you after? She's behaving a lot like a male this afternoon, in that males will do this. I've seen Anderson and Tingana both go into mounds like this or into holes in the ground and excavate and then pluck warthogs out like champagne corks. You don't see it very often with females, but maybe she's hungry and that's why she decided to try it out. You can see she is a little bit gaunt. So it was interesting though. Did you see how deep she went in? All it was was a little white tail sticking out. You silly girl, you must be covered in dust. You can see she's sneezing now. So a lot of dust in her nose and going down her throat. But how cool is that? Out of nowhere, she just went flying towards a hole. Amazing. And there she goes off into the distance. She's now walking. I wonder, 
she's obviously hungry, which means she's on the hunt and hopefully she's going to lead us towards her cub. That's what I'm hoping for is that we're going to have a situation where she's going to take us towards the cub and we'll get to see the cub. Now you can see the holes that I'm talking about. So these are the kind of holes that she, the warthogs are going into and that's what she went down is something deep like that. And you can see it's almost like a black abyss inside there. So that's obviously what she was trying to go after. But very cool to have seen. It's not something you see very often. So Lou says it was a pangolin. Now the reason why pangolin is on the brain for Lou and for everyone else is because yesterday I had a memory on Facebook and so for Warthogs, are oh, they coming out? There go the Warthogs. You see they're running. Look, they're all running out. So Shadow, if you just stayed my girl, you might have had a chance, but unfortunately they've all run and that's the end of that for her. But that's what she was after. It was definitely a young Warthog. It was a small Warthog that ran. But I was saying yesterday on the on the Facebook thing, I had a memory where I'd seen wild dogs six years ago. And as it turned out, I saw wild dogs yesterday. And then today on Facebook, a memory came up that I had seen a pangolin six years ago. And so I thought, what are the chances that maybe a pangolin pops out that we get to see a pangolin now? Wouldn't that be quite special? So uh, that's why I've thrown it out into the universe and pangolins on the brain for everyone. But you never know. I have seen pangolins twice, thanks to leopard. And so it would be nice if we found another one. Oh Shadow, if you had just waited, my girl, on top of that, and that's the difference between a female and a male. A male leopard would have sat at that hole. We know Mvula does it, Tingana does it. They're patient. They'll sit at the hole and they'll wait. And as soon as that warthog exited, she would have been able to grab it and take it. And that warthog that, she, that was there was a fairly small one. It wasn't a very big warthog and she really would have been able to take that. So a little bit of more patience from her and, and an experienced campaigner like she is, I would have thought that she would have shown a little bit more patience. But you never know. Maybe she just thought, mm, this is not the greatest idea. I don't know what's down this hole. I'm going to leave it for now and, and maybe thought that she, they won't come out as quickly as they do.